ispričan na engleskom, a Enu bi zamolio da mi pomogne, naravno. Evo, samo malo, dođe Eno. Eno, Eno ima jedan vrlo važan zadatak, on će da mi drže mikrofon. I have to speak this in English. It was happened like uh, two years ago. I was driving a car between three and five in the afternoon when you, where you cannot drive on the, that diamond lane, you know? And then, because my house is very close to the store where I was, and then I was driving a car, I said, I don't have to go in the middle lane, I'm gonna go in a, I will stay in the same one. And after 120 meters, police officer just stopped me. And I said, oh my God, I have to do something not to pay, not to pay a ticket, right? And it was a very nice looking officer. He came to me, I stopped the car, and he came to me saying, good afternoon, sir. And I start to act like this. And he said, good afternoon, I said, <laughs> After I said that, good afternoon, I saw in his eyes some kind of like lighting, like oh my god, what I stopped. And then he said, excuse me sir, can I have your document? And I said, I said, you can have my document any, any time you want. And again in his eyes it was really like, oh my god, look at how many drivers is around and I'm only, I'm stopping this, this idiot. And, and I, was, I was talking very loud anyway. And then he said, okay, can I have your document, please? I said, sure, so let me just find my document. And, and then, just that I, I don't even know why you stopped me, sir. Why you, and he took my document, he went in his cruiser, and I went out from my car, and he was checking something in a computer, and I was standing on the other side of, of the passenger window, and then, and then I said, I was talking very loud, I said, Excuse me, sir, I don't really know why you stopped me. Sorry, I was driving very slow. I don't, I don't, I don't know why you stopped me, because you can even check in computer. His only reaction was, My computer is not working, leave me alone. And I was so happy, I, I never paid any ticket. He just told me, Next time, I'm gonna charge you for four hundred dollars, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, this is one of my doživlja i kako bi se rekao. A sad sam izvadio nešto iz jedne sjajne knjige pa ću vam pročitati. Kaže, znate li koji je Sunji najbolji prijatelj? Lift. Uvijek dođe kad ga pozevaj. Kaže, kako se na bosanskom jeziku kaže, izvinjavam se, grupni seks. Gornja mahala, donju jahala. Ako sudiju zovemo sudac, kako zovemo kurira? Šta kaže Suljo Fati koja ima dvije šljive na oku? Ili ti treba i treći put govoriti? Kaže, zašto nema seksa među bosanskim političarima? Pa sve sama rodbina. Kaže, ako se ne oženiš, pokajaću se. Ako se oženiš, pokajaću se još više. Kaže, ne znam šta rade u raju, ali znam šta ne rade. Ne žene se, ja dva put. Kaže, neoženjen muškarac je nepotpuno, nepotpuno. Oženjen, gotov. Živjeti sa osobom koja se voli jednako i teško kao živjeti sa osobom koja se ne voli, še tačno. Kaže, ko hrče, uvijek prvi zaspi. To je stvarno neko pravilo. A znate li zašto žene nose visoke štikle? Hajde da vidimo. Da im se jezik ne vuče po asfaltu. Ovo je nešto što je stvarno se može nazvati bruka. Zamislite ako vam žena kaže, dragi, da upalim svjetlo, a 
ako već ne možeš da nađeš u mraku. Naše muškarci su kao žvaki. Prvo su slatki, a poslije se nije. I znate li koji je dobar policajac? Da li ko zna koji je dobar policajac? Ležeći policajac. Hvala, ima još mnogo grupa za večeras. Vidimo se nekom sljedećom prilikom. Hvala jedno za ovo sve. Hvala, jer s njim dječe, došlo da veća, ali našo veće. Nisam siguran u izbor svih šala.